guys, it's me, Tony. Welcome to another episode of Let's Try It. So today we're gonna be making spicy crab beignets. Crab beignets. You wouldn't think those two things would go together, right? Like, I love beignets, love beignets, love crab. So the recipe, I'm like, <laughs> try it. Now, I'm not gonna use the pepper, of course, cause you know, I can't eat it hot. But if you wanna use the pepper, go right ahead. So I'm gonna make it without the pepper. So, um, not too difficult. Couple different steps to it and everything, but I'm all prepped. I got everything all ready to go. And we're gonna use a beer batter. I don't even like beer, unless it's with crab. So, perfect, right? All right. So basically, you're supposed to use six ounces of crab, but you know, I don't like a lot of filler in anything that has to do with my crab meat. So I got an eight ounce container. Everything else I kept the same. I just got eight ounces of crab instead of the six ounces. So let's try the spicy crab beignets and see what they're hitting for. All right, here we go. Eight ounces of crab meat. Dump that in there. Two tablespoons of shallots, finely chopped. Get those in there. One tablespoon of chives, finely diced. One zested lemon. Two teaspoons of paprika. Now, I use smoked paprika. You can use a regular if you want. I just happen to like the smoked paprika. And then we're gonna use a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and I use kosher salt. And then a third of a cup, sorry, fourth of a cup of mayonnaise. Get all of that out. And then it just says to gently fold together. So, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. And I don't think those extra two ounces <laughs> of crab meat is going to make a difference. I think everything is going to be fine. It's just going to be that much more meatier. I'm excited. I really am. <laughs> I like everything with crab. Everything. So, I'm still trying to wrap my head around a beignet and crab together. Don't that just sound like it's going to be some kind of good? All right, so I've got this combined pretty good. It just, that's all it said pretty much to mix into a combined. So you can take a look and see. That's pretty good. All right. Now we're gonna get ready for phase two. All right, so now that our crab mixture is done, we're gonna set that to the side. We're gonna move on to the wet part. It's gonna be two eggs. And then we're just gonna whisk that until frosty. I don't know what frosty means, but that's what it says. So I'm just gonna whisk them really good. I, I, don't, I don't know what frosty means. So I'm, I guess that's frosty? I don't know. <laughs> but it's gonna be frosty for me. Now on to the good part, the beer. It's at one cup. I'm really, really tempted to use more than one cup, but I'm gonna follow the instructions. I'm gonna do what it says, and I'm gonna use, and it did say lager, use a lager preferably. So, you know, yingling, like what better lager is that? So I'm gonna use one cup, I promise. Watch me measure it. That's one cup. I prefer to use the whole bottle, but I'm only gonna use one. And it just says to gradually add the beer. So I'm like, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. It smells good. Now I've heard of beer batters before. I've never actually made a beer batter, so I don't really know how to do it. So if this turns out good, 
you know I'm gonna be using this as my batter for anything that I make that calls for beer batter. All I smell is beer. Ugh. Ugh. I can't wait. All right, so that's step two. Now on to step three. All right, now we're gonna do the dry ingredients. So we got a cup of all-purpose flour, for the cup of cornstarch, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And again, I use the kosher salt for that too. And you're just gonna whisk that together. Now, I did tell you that it was a half a teaspoon of salt in the crab mixture too, right? I wanna make sure I got that, it was half a teaspoon. Sometimes I be getting my measurements mixed up. There's so many different combinations. But basically, you're just gonna, you know, whisk the dry ingredients together to get them combined. Simple. And then after that, we're gonna put all of this together. I already got my four cups of vegetable oil heating up on the stove. So we can mix this up and fry these bad boy beats up. I can't wait to try it. All right, so now we're just gonna add our dry mixture to our liquid mixture. And I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. It said to use a spatula. I couldn't find one, so I'm hoping that my spoon <laughs> will be okay. And we're just supposed to gently combine that. So that's all I'm gonna do with this. All I smell is beer. <laughs> and look, promise, see? I, I didn't drink any and I didn't use it all. Even though I wanted to, I didn't use it all. And then basically once we get this blended, we're gonna add in the crab meat. All right, so I got the dry and the liquid ingredients already combined, and then we're just gonna add in our crab mixture. And that's it. All we have left to do is to fry it. So now that I have this spatula, I'm gonna finish folding everything in like I was supposed to before with a spatula. So I'll just scrape off whatever was on the spoon, I don't need that. And then just fold this together. So I can see just by the mixture combination how it would look like a beignet because I can see like the, the doughy part. But I just think with this crab meat, boy, oh, Boy, some kind of good. Can you guys see? Once everything gets blended in, see? All right, let's go fry these bad boys up. All right, guys, the grease is hot, mixture's ready. Um, it's a little runny. Kind of looks like it's gonna end up looking like funnel cake. I don't, I don't know, but um. It said to use four heaping tablespoons. I have a scooper, so I'm trying to decide if the scooper is gonna work or should I use a spoon? So I'm gonna try the scooper first and then we'll see what happens. And it says it only takes about four minutes to cook. Alright guys, we'll see what happens. Alright guys, not gonna lie, when I first put them in, I was really worried. I was like, is this crap all over the pot? But look at how they are cooking up. They look really good, right? Now, I mean, I understand they're kind of deformed and they're not perfect circles. I, I get that, I know. I'll try some with the spoon too, but um, 
I'm happy with how they turning out. I can't wait to see how they taste. So we're gonna finish frying these up. We're gonna see what's going on. All right guys, so I fried them all up and this is how they turned out. Look at that. Spicy crab beignets. They look delicious. Now remember, mine aren't spicy because I didn't put the pepper in. If you're gonna make these, after we see how they taste, it was a serrano pepper, they said, that was seeded and finely diced. So if you guys like it hot and spicy, that's the pepper that they use. But for me, no spice. And I like remoulade sauce with my crab, anything. So let's see. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Can you guys see inside? Look. I hope you can see, it looks amazing. So I'm gonna try a piece plain before I dip it because I wanna really get the full effect of the crab beignet. I don't burn my tongue. taste the dough like if it was in, I guess a beignet, maybe, but you know, beignets had a powdered sugar and everything on them, so I don't know. It's okay, plain. Let me try with the sauce. Okay, to me, it's better with the sauce. Plain. I feel like it's missing something. I don't know what, but it's missing something. It needs something else. I can't tell what it is, but the sauce definitely makes it good for me. So I can definitely eat these. It's cross, I guess a cross between a, a hush puppy. Yeah, it's more like a hush puppy to me with crab meat in it, but it's still good. So I'm still gonna eat it. So I would consider this a Facebook win. Um, Take a sip of my beer. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel so you can see all these crazy recipes that I'm trying to do to keep y'all entertained. But um, yep, spicy crab beignets. See you next time on Let's Try It. If you enjoy these videos and you want to see more, make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel.